Hi everyone, Mike Avalar from Avalar Home Inspection Inc. Today I'm going to go over a little bit of roof inspection, some of the limitations, the major limitation of a home inspector inspecting your home, what's a general and typical life expectancy of asphalt shingle roofing. Now the best way for me to inspect your roof is to actually get up on top of that roof. However, the biggest limit that I have is a law from the Occupational Health and Safety Awareness Training. That's a regulation under the Ontario Health and Safety Act of 1990. What this law prevents me from doing is going up to the roof. These laws require one of the following methods of fall protection travel restraint system, a fall restricting system, a fall arrest system, a safety net, a work belt, or a safety belt. Each one of these solutions are restricted by two things. Time, and I have to damage the property that I'm visiting in order to tie down. As a home inspector, I'm a guest there. That's destruction of private property. There are different types of roofs that you can put into different types of combinations. Each roof has their strengths and weaknesses and when you combine those roofs some of those strengths become weaknesses, some of those weaknesses become strengths. So it all depends on the type of architecture, the design of your roof, but in general there are only about seven different types of roofs. We've got our hip, mansard, butterfly, shed, gable, gambrel, and flat roof. Very popular, asphalt shingles, wood shakes and shingles, metal roofing, which I have nothing but good things to say about, roll roofing, and occasionally on some of the older homes you'll see fiber cement shingles. Fiber cement shingles are rare because they use asbestos. As a home inspector, I inspect the roof from the exterior, either from the roof edge or from the ground. What I'm looking for is deterioration in the asphalt shingles, any obvious signs of the roof sheathing being unprotected, improper flashing, missing caulking, exposed fasteners. Once I'm able to, I inspect the interior or the underside of the roof from the attic space. However, in some cases, the attic space hatch might be sealed shut with either glue or nails or caulking. And that again falls under the, I cannot damage any property while I'm inspecting a home as a guest. Sometimes I've found storage in attic spaces attic spaces are not designed for storage. What happens when you put all that storage in there is that it changes the dynamics of the way that it was engineered. The airflow is no longer there. There's extra mass and extra dead weight on the uh, truss joists. The typical life expectancy of an average asphalt shingle is about 18 to 20 years. Sometimes I've seen roofs that have been about 20, 25 years. They were maintained very well. There wasn't any external forces that shouldn't have been damaging the roof. I've seen roofs that have, were installed two years ago completely improperly, which is very important when installing asphalt shingles. If asphalt shingles are not installed properly, their limited lifetime warranty is voided, for starts. The wear and tear on those shingles may increase. If there's external factors like trees really close to the home, if you have trees really close to the home, what happens is that the leaves and debris from that tree will end up falling on your roof. And that will keep moisture on top of those shingles. Those shingles will deteriorate. Shingles are not waterproof. They're water resistant. Now your roof's going to start telling you 
that it needs to be replaced. You're going to see the slots get a little wider over the years. You're going to see some cupping and curling at the end. When you start seeing a lot of this, that's when it's time to start thinking about a new roof.